Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video, we are going to pick up some new contracts after having dealt with the situations I put myself in in the previous videos. And right now, it doesn't look like we have any good transfer windows except maybe Moho, though that's a little bit of less of an angle. It should be maybe over here, Moho should be. But uh, yeah, otherwise the other planets are out of line, though we would probably catch up to Duna sooner than anything else, I think. So that's a thought, but let's take a look at the contracts and see what they're willing to give us. We have lots of money, but you know, it's worth making sure that we get paid some something for the things that we do. Um, science expansion for Daffles base. Add a new science lab to Daffles base on the moon, it looks like. Land within 500 meters of Daffles base on the moon. Okay, well, so that's a thought. Uh, it's not too expensive. That'll be a quick one. Uh, send crew to Val station. That's fairly straightforward. We did create a station for a reason. Launch a Tylo space station. The same basically as the other ones. Uh, so that's very lucrative. Uh, but we're not at the jewel window yet. We could time warp though. Uh, Ike Space Station, again, that's probably sooner. Uh, I mean, I guess we should pick them up anyway. Medical Emergency on board Daffle's base. Well, I mean, we can't really ignore that. Bring Daffle Kerman back to Kerbin for medical examination. I guess we have to, right? So we might as well send the science expansion as well, I would think. I mean, why not? Okay. Rotate, rotate crew of Gilly Station to bring them back. If they gotta pay me to bring back Kerbals, that might be a good idea. Have at least one engi engineer on board when we actually send the new crew, okay. All right. Repair a faulty, they've got some very practical things for us to do here, I guess. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, a lot of these things I feel compelled to actually do. Okay, and let's just see what else we've got. Rescue rescue Caldron from Orbit of Kerbin. Well, I could always do with more Kerbals, so we'll do that too. I can see how we could rescue Caldron and then go, go over to the moon and pick up uh, Daffle. There's the Sentinel stuff. Mapping asteroids. But let's focus on the crew stuff first. Oh, it is uh, bring Yellowstones back from where? Uh, Paul. From Paul. Um, I mean, sure, why not? They're giving us 46 years to do it and we've got infinite room for contracts. I'm not gonna attach a new part to a satellite. Okay, so we've got lots of active contracts. So we've got the Explorer Paul, and that for when we actually get a jewel encounter, and we would be, and we need to launch a Paul space station. So all that can be done at that time. Um, I think we are going to start off, and then we've got some other jewel stuff. I think we're gonna start off with the science expansion for Daffle's base, picking up Daffle. And also getting that one Kerbal from Kerbin Orbit, Cauldron. Okay, not very lucrative, but interesting. Okay, so we'll have to get down to there and pick Daffle up. Okay, I think we have a rocket that can do the job here, seating for two, which are the Kerbals that we are going to rescue. We have a controller up there, just a Probodobodyne Octo 2. Hopefully it can reuse the reaction wheel in the pod for us. But uh, we also have a sort of redundant RCS system down here. Uh, those tanks are under the shroud right now. But we have the tankage here. This pod here is the ascent and return stage from the moon. And then down here, this is what we're going to leave on the moon. Of course, it wanted a science lab on the surface. So we're giving it to uh, uh, this uh, Daffles base here. We have to land within 500 meters. And that has 1,233 meters per second to do that, which should be more than enough. We're on vacuum 
delta v here. So this is the ascent stage, this is the descent stage, and then this is a poodle stage that is meant to uh, complete orbit, transfer us, and capture us into orbit around the moon. And we have the launch stages otherwise, and that is just a set of kickback boosters and then the skipper engine on the core. So, yep, thrust weight ratio wise, uh, this is still vacuum, so vacuum 0.87 for the skipper, I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Uh, sea level, we're looking at 1.32 with the kickbacks. And we've got extra fins just to add control. So I've made the science lab a proper base sort of thing. So we've got power, we've got the full voltaic panels, and no controller though. Uh, so it's just a lab. I, and of course we have the relay antenna here. Once the Kerbals are in, maybe I should put an extra relay antenna on this, just in case, not relay necessarily, but something that communicates back just in case both of them are not pilots. It's always annoying. We've got the surface mount over there, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Okay, so somewhat asymmetrical. We'll see how that works out for us. And we've got way too much parachuting on top, but better safe than sorry. So that is the rescue combo mission. Let's try it out. Okay, so cauldron spot is what we're aiming for first. And as usual, we would like it to be... Well, we could catch up. It's in a pretty low orbit, though. So it's very inconvenient like that. I think we would like it behind us just a little bit. Okay, so it's right there and catching up. SAS on, throttle is up. And launch. The SRBs are uh, thrust limited just a little bit to make sure that we have extra time before they're off. That allows, that makes sure that the skipper has as much thrust weight ratio as possible by the time they jettison. Okay, booster set. Okay, we are here. Cauldron spot is right there. Uh, <laughs> it's close, but the timing was just a little bit off, I think. Okay, staging. And poodle time. I think uh, we're in orbit. Forcing the issue more than that right now is probably a bad idea. I saw a high mounted the uh, landing engines in deference to Regolith. Okay, another encounter. Oh, what's happening over there? Okay, that should be fine. Okay, we'll meet up with it over there. We are in a safe orbit and everything. Well, the redundant RCS ports were in fact redundant. Everything seems fine. Okay, let's slow down without bumping into it. Okay, one meter per second is fine. Time for Cauldron to do some work here. And Cauldron's a pilot, in fact. I didn't say that we have to recover Cauldron's spacecraft, right? <laughs> uh, that's sometimes a thing. Nope, just recover Cauldron. Okay. One annoying thing is the Delta V readings do not include the additional mass that the Kerbal can add to it, so possible that our delta v expectations change because of that not sure but anyway we've done part number one let's go for part number two now daffle's base seems to be in a less than usually convenient location it's not equatorial so we will probably have to make some adjustments because of that but this is a fine transfer for now we're backing quite a bit more juice than we really needed, but again, with the kind of budgets that we have, we might as well have some margin. Okay. Oh, look at that. The sun and the moon right there. I think that's probably good enough. Okay, well, we are in Mooner SOI, and I'm going to make a minor adjustment so that we can 
hit our target a little bit better. Uh, equatorial inclination is not going to do the trick. Okay, so this not so minor correction, but we do have the spare talent, so we might as well do it. 100 meters per second is a little bit hefty. I think we might be a little bit too low there, but we'll capture first and sort things out. Okay, and we are at periapsis retro. Okay, bringing ourselves into a descent orbit. Oh, there's a particularly menacing looking hill right there. Okay, we are entering the crater area. The greater crater area. Okay, well, we might as well dispose of this stage. And here we go with the spark engines. Oh, I just noticed I accidentally put a battery in the way of the ladder. Gosh darn it. Well, fortunately they can float up on the moon. Uh, unable to process seismic event. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't expecting much of that. And looking good. Uh, it's a little bit wobbly. I should put some RCS on here, too. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Not here, too. <sighs> I thought that was more of a realism overhaul thing. Surprised the solar panels didn't break. These stock solar panels, though. Any chance that just deploying the landing gear will do something? Not really. Um, did we fulfill the contract for this science lab thing? Yes, the science expansion is fulfilled. Now, <clears throat> uh, what can we do about the rest of this business? Should put RCS on here. It's possible that we could tilt just the ascent pod portion up. Sad to have this like this though, but... Let's see, where's Daffle? Okay, Daffle. Honestly, maybe it's safer just to have Daffle... What, why don't we just launch this? It's got a science lab already, what's the point? Anyway, this is too nice to launch, though. And it probably doesn't have enough fuel. Got all these sciencey things here, but they hardly do anything. Apple's an engineer, not even a scientist. All right, who's going to rescue the rescue mission? Maybe we should not have Daffle board yet. All right, let's try the decoupling. Okay. Now, any chance this... Oh, this is pretty spry. This pod. Okay, but uh, up, up, up. These reaction wheels, though, are amazing. Amazing things. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we can we can do this. Now we've got a horizontal lab. I guess uh, we should deploy those. Um, yeah, if Daffle could go over there and deploy the solar panels so it doesn't just die. It doesn't have a controller on it, so... Okay, well... 
Just make sure staging doesn't play a trick on me. And I think we can just go. So off we go. The magic of Kerbal. Okay, we are in orbit. And let's get back home. All right, and go. For a return journey for our two rescuees here. Okay, time for service module jettison. And off it goes. Got a pilot, so not a whole lot of problems right now. And parachutes. Interesting, even though we have three parachutes here, it was only like five meters per second. Thought we had way more than we needed, but it's not too bad actually. And plop. All right, recovering vessel. So well, next up, we just have to figure out which of these transfers we get to do first. It's actually looking like Jewel first, which I guess is okay because we have a lot to do at Jewel. But Eve is getting into position, and Duna will be in position soon. Let's see, how, how does this whole alarm system work anyway? Um, planetary transfer window. Urban to Duna. Well, it gives an alarm for that. 29 days, it says. Okay, well, let's get a few alarms like this. I, I'm guessing Kerbin to Jewel is soon. It says 112 days. That's not right. We're I mean, that, that would be like the next orbit, I guess. Yeah, no. I think, yeah, it thinks we've already passed this one, but we're just about there. And I don't think that's the next Eve window either. I think that would, I mean, I don't think that's the Eve window that's coming up. I think that's the one after it. So, yeah, we'll just leave it. I think that system might not be the best. Okay, but Jewel, we've got a lot of stuff to do. I mean, we've got uh, Paul Station plus something to fly back to Kerbin from a flyby of Paul. Plus we need to, so we might as well just land on Paul and bring that those Yellowstones back and then come back based on that contract. But we need to also have a Paul space station and we might as well, I don't, yeah, okay, that's the moon. I, I actually, it's surprising we haven't done that overall survey scan. We should have just packed that on to the mission that we just sent. Um, now I don't want to do the scout Kylo. The jewel station takes a lot of... We, we might do that in a separate launch. We could probably do all the Paul things on one launch. And then a separate launch for the jewel station and the Tylo station. I don't know about this faulty power module on the Leaf station though. That's a whole other separate thing. So I'm thinking next time we are going to send a Paul base station plus return pod that can land on Paul and bring Yellowstones back and then a Jewel space station and a Tylo space station. So I'll probably build those off camera and I'm gonna need some time to work on those and then I'll introduce them at the start of the next video. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.